any good afternoon depend on wherever you are watching me from this is the royalty family tv i welcome you all all my subscribers i say god bless you you are really done a great job in the royalty family tv i ah no 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 i'm not gonna feel thank you enough i cannot thank you guys enough god will bless you anything you lay your hands to do this 2021 you will prosper in the name of jesus my new subscriber you are welcome to welcome to this wonderful family the royalty family say god bless you thank you so let's just take a short prayer father i worship you i adore you i exalt your holy name this afternoon king of king of lord i call your presence right now in the name of jesus i welcome your presence right now in the name of jesus father king of king of lord take us all with control whatever i'm going to say here today father let it be from above in the name of jesus thank you for preservation of life thank you for taking us to this time thank you jesus we are in the third month already thank you we exalt your holy name thank you jesus for in jesus mighty name we pray thank you jesus thank you you are all welcome what we are about to say today is about marriage i'm going to talk about marriage today in this platform we'll talk about marriage talk about singles you know i i i bake i'm a caterer that is my hobby you know i pray i, I bring up prayers too so on and so forth so god will bless you today and god will bless our marriages in the name of jesus so what we're going to talk about marriage today is about understanding understanding each other in marriage you understand so let me bring down my english today <laughs> you know sometimes you say okay let me speak broken the, the, the normal english that the english that you are going to it will still you know come inside so anyhow so far you understand what i'm going to say today this video will not be too long this conversation might have part two part three and you know as we continue going so let's see how where is taking us to so today we're going to talk about understanding how um husband and wife need to understand themselves for for no no quarrel or no other further problem you understand so so in um in a situation like this so i first and foremost one moment So I should not be just you know washing down. I can because I wrote some things in the paper. So he said, uh, "Okay, uh, marriage is a wonderful experience. It's a wonderful experience when you are in the marriage. It's a wonderful experience when both partners are com are committed. When both partners are committed to." each other you understand it's a wonderful experience it's not it's not the experience that you will just say okay uh it's a bad experience marriage is not bad experience you know being marriage you say marriage is honorable by the lord you understand when god when god approve your marriage eh, nothing is going on nothing is going to happen to your marriage except the man you are married to or the woman you are married to I, I i said it in my last video if anything should happen in your marriage check the background you are coming from check your father and your mother when you know how they were living 
how they live together when you 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 were growing with them how did they live you understand so you know where your problem is coming from in marriage so when your mother and your father live peacefully you yourself you will live peacefully also you understand so nearby you are not living peacefully in your marriage that is where manipulation comes in that is where you have to pray you understand that is where you have to stand and pray say yes this thing that happened to my father or my mother will not happen to me i disagree it will not happen to me i reject it it will not happen to me or maybe when you are growing up you see your father and your mother fighting you understand you see them fighting you know problem here and there when you remember that always know that you need to stand and pray for the same thing not to happen to your marriage because when it starts to happen it will affect your children also you understand how is it going to affect them because seeing them them seeing you you know uh, husband uh, you and your husband fighting they are still you know say ah what kind of is it how marriage is, is? if it is how maybe especially when you have girls if it is how marriage is i will not marry you you understand if it's how marriage is, I, I, I'm not going to get married. I'm going to stay. If it's the man, uh, if it's how marriage is, so I'm not going to get married. Though. That affection will begin to affect your children. The way it's affecting many of us in marriages today. No marriage is perfect. You understand? Many of us, we, are, we have passed through all those kind of, you know, things that will just take common especially when we don't know god you understand when we don't know god hey is is bye bye then the devil will not see where to dwell may we not be may that may that kind of marriage not be part may we not be part of that kind of marriage in the name of jesus you understand me so he said that I said uh, to each other, to one another. I said that does not that does not justify failing a uh, failing. It might be committed to the other. You understand? It might be committed to to the idea to the idea that that every day might not always be a flying thing learning what to expect from your marriage means there are many things you should expect from your marriage such as commitment trust honest you understand honest and love those are also things you should not there are still things that you should not expect also but what mostly you need to expect from your marriage is honest trust commitment trust you understand and love so marriages now no trust no honest no commitments why we are asking ourselves why is it like that is it from the woman or from the man let's search our hearts if you come across this video search your heart you man search your heart you woman why is it now we don't have love in our marriages we don't have trust in our marriages why Eh? there might be okay in my idea there might be okay look at sometimes maybe woman you will trust your husband so that this thing my husband will not do it hmm? along you will not see that that same thing you trust him with he's doing it how will you feel as a woman that trust is gone
the same with a woman too. You understand? A man, you trusted your wife so much. You trust her. Both of you live in the same house. You trust her so much. What you think? Yes, yeah, this is my wife. She's not going to do it. Along the way, she's doing that thing. How will you feel as a man? That is what is going on in marriages today. That is what is going on in marriages today. You understand? One, woman will trust a man. Yes, my husband will not do this. Along, you will see him doing the same thing. If, for instance, the man is working, maybe he used to call, call the wife at home. Later, he don't call her again. Then the woman will begin to suspect. So, is this thing that I I saw that day? Is it is this is it is it truth? Is it really truth or what? So let me come down. Now from there, now the problem just starts. Woman will trust in husband. You're going to get that. You're going to get that. Say ah. But why why all these things going to happen? That man now going to we're going to get a affair outside. You understand? We're going to get you know talking to girls outside. When you don't reach that point where be say man, you know go fit stay without you not talk to that person a day. You know. He has gone far. You know, say that it don't go far. But let me say, if you are a man doing that, you feel you want to use it to hurt your wife, or you want just to do it, you are doing yourself. And God will not forgive you. You are hurting somebody's mind. You the hurt person mind. God not go forgive you. And that day where you feel you say you they cheat, you they do, say they hurt your wife. What did that girl go do you? Eh? <laughs> God go package that something. God go package and go package and wait for you. It go affect you the way it they affect that woman. You they feel say you they do one. You want just do something. And it hurt that woman. It they hurt and say, why this man they do like this? Why it they behave like this? You understand? So he go, God will package your own wait for you. The same thing goes with woman. They understand me. If you know you want to cheat on your husband, my dear, do not try it. Just walk away just walk away in that marriage if you know say that marriage is not good for you again just come out earlier the better for you to date the 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 waste time you they waste your time and you they destroy your life and you they put seed for grant for your children for them to germinate the bad seed of you cheating on your husband. If marriage don't tire you, it's not a do or die thing. Just pack your things and go. Thank you. See you on my next video. God bless you. Bye bye.